Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty card. This card was inspired by this card. I can't show you how I made this card because um, the stamp set is not mine, it was my sister's and I borrowed it when we were at our card crafting club. So I thought, oh, I find just stamping up stamp, I can do a slight decoupage. I don't know if you can see that, where it's all loaded. And on this one, I've done it here, this flower, one there and one there, and just a petal of this flower. So I made this and then I thought, oh, I'll find a stamping up one. And I found the wonderful romance. But I didn't quite like that because the flowers were a bit small. And so I found this one. All that you are stamp set. So we're going to make this one. And we're going to use, I'm going to change the colour. I'm going to use clips of coral. So for this you'll need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, a piece of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, a piece of calypso coral at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and a piece of white cardstock at five and a half by three and three quarters. Right. As you can see, I've cut away the corners on that. So we'll do that first before we even do any stamping. And to do that, I've got a half inch circle punch and I put the two pieces together and then I stuck that in halfway and clicked them out. Then I went to the next corner, popped it in and make sure they're all even. And clicked them out. And so on till I've done all four corners. Right, on this punch, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but inside there's a little circle thing. So I'm using that as a guide. <coughs> and then when you put this on here, like that, your corners will all match. But I'm going to have to mark it because I'm going to separate them. So I'm going to... Just mark that top and this top so I know to, it will be the top of my card when I finish stamping. To stamp it that way. Right, the next thing I did with the card base, I put that on exactly the same as I did the two cards together. And then I just used it as a guide and clicked it off. That was a bit tough because it was the um, fold. Do the same this side, so it's not even, that's it. Put that in there. And click it off. Oh, no wonder it was so tough. We had the inside bit. That's that. And so then that. We'll match that like that. 
And obviously we've got to do this one now. So I'll take the orange and match these up. That will match the inside nicely. So, get rid of all the bits. Throw them in the bucket. Right, I'll put that where I can see it so I can copy it. Get our small bit, make sure I've got the right bit. And that's the top. Right, as you can see on the stamp set, there's no flowers on that where I've added the flowers, I stamped the flowers. So to do that, what I did was, I've got masks, I've got three masks for them. I put the mask down for the flower. like that and then I place the mask for the single flowers I put that there so just lift up this place that there and then this little mask I placed in between them flowers get out of the way I can lift this big mask off. I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to get the leaves. Leaf. So I'll put that there. Right. With my ink, I ink up this flower, just a single flower, and I move the mask and stamp the flower down. Then I place the mask back over. Clean the stamp. Get the other flower, the little flower. And move the mask and stamp the little flower. stamp. Now with the leaf I put two on quite close together and I put another one there but I wait till I've done the big flower. So right with this ink up the big flower the flower, put it like that, and hopefully I've got it in the right place. And, yeah. That's good. I like that. I don't need to put a leaf that side, so put them away. Clean the stamp. Put 
cleaned the stamps, we've got to use them again. Right. Let's do the sentiment. On this one I put flowers bloom all for you. So we're going to use that again. And I'm going to stamp it there. And pray I've got it straight. That's fine, it's a little bit off, but I can live with that. Alright, put that to one side for a minute, because now we've got to... There's my scrap, a nice big piece of scrap. We've got to stamp two of each flowers. Of the little flowers, in fact, we only need one little flower, we didn't need two. I don't know why I said two of them, but we don't. And then we need two of this big flower, so all I did was ink up the flower. There's two. Right, that's our ink and stamping done. So now all we've got to do is put these stamps away. Clean my hand. Just waiting to let that the flowers, the ink dry on the stamping. So I'm just killing time. And there goes my phone. Hello? Right. Colouring. I'm going to use. Won't give up on us. I'm going to use um, Daffodil Delight. Just to colour the middle pieces in. I don't know why I'm doing them on that. That phone course put me off right. The middle pieces of this and this one and just around the right next one is Blue, balmy blue, just with these little flowers here. Just colour all these little ones in. Yellow, I got God, my yellow top never wants to come off. Daffodil delight, I should say. 
I'll colour them in. And we're going to do the watchers come undone. The leaves. Um just colour all these in. to use the thin end. This is old lot of lie in case I never said. I couldn't remember if I said or not. the old of dark we'll just go in like that a bit of dark and base of each leaf the shadow around there because the flower is leaning over the leaf and then just take the light again and blend that in. Just where you can see it. meadow just a very thin line around the edge of the flower just to give a bit of shading where it counts that's better um, with light soft suede we're going to do the branch the dark soft suede just to give a bit of shadow 
where the flowers are. For the flower, flowers. Alright, with the dark, I did. Oh, I went around my edges like I normally do. I did a bit at the bottom, so a bit at the bottom, so that's where it's darker. ones I just went around the outside of no, there's a bit of dark there and then I coloured the whole thing in in light Blend that in at the top. We don't have to bother about these because we're going to cover them. These are just colouring, I don't worry about the blending. Hmm. I think this pen might be running out. Right, we'll put that to one side and get the dark. We're going to cut out this one, this one, and this one on that flower. And on this one, we're just going to cut out this one. 
on the little flower we're just going to cut out this one and on the medium flower we're going to cut out that, that and that And on this one we're just going to cut out this one. Blend that in best as you can. And do the same with this one. Clips of coral. same on this one. It's a lot easier if your pens are working properly. But obviously microlipso coral is running dry. Shouting, you've missed one. Right, I'll call it very well, is it? Yeah, that do. Alright, what I 
we'll do is with what colour is this? Oh no, I don't want greys, you want greys. This one is pumpkin pie. Uh, let's have a little bit the light pumpkin pie. I am just going to just add a thin dark patch to the bottom of each of these. That's it. And now the paper snips. All you've got to do is just cut them out. Quite easy to do because they're you know quite straight lines. So that's one. Now, with the petal one, just the petal, just catch one black um, stamen. Like I've done. could have had all this done before but you need to see how I've done it Hold it the back towards me and then I just go around the edge. Make sure it's the wrong side is towards you because then if you slip like that it will go on the wrong side. And that just makes it stick out a bit more. Like that. So over the wrong side, just go around the edge. Uh, 
and that will go on top of that one. The smaller they are, the worse it is getting on your fingers. That one will go on that one. And then the last one. will go just there. So let's um, stick this card together, move all them and get my glue. Blue's decided to jam. <laughs> Even though I had a pin in it. Oh, place that on. Oops. Putting that border on is actually bringing out the flowers already. Place this on. It's absolutely tipping it down outside. Mind you, it's been very windy all day today. straight is it? Start again. Now to stick these bits on, use dimensionals and we want mini dimensionals now. There we are. So turn them all over. Three on this big one, three on this one, one on this one. Oh, great. Two stuck together. So we we'll put these two on here. Stuck on my thumb. So, put the 
this big one on here. And it's that bit there. This is one way to give a flat flower a bit of dimension. Put that there. And then last of all, a little flower. Well, I don't know how you can make that out, but yeah, there you can see the dimensions. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I think it is. So, no, so hide that dirty mop with that. And this will go in there, but I'm going to do something on it off camera. I don't know what. Did I do anything? I didn't do anything. Oh, that's what I did. Let's do the same. So, let's get rid of these. All my dimensionals. So that's this one. So we'll have this one and black ink hmm that would do nicely just see my glue sitting here on the side without pin in it and I can't get the pin in right um, quickly colour this in so clips all coral the flower I'll draw it for the leaves. And mommy blue for these little tiny things. Just touch these and that's and coloured in. the end of my glue That's 
pretty. Right, there we have it. Two very pretty cards. I prefer the red. I do like the red. Well, if you like my cards, please uh, press the button. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell button next to it, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.